back to my channel, I'm Suze. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to turn a normal, everyday $5 Woolworths cake into a birthday cake. It's something I've wanted to do for a while. I've seen some trends on YouTube about it and it's my daughter's birthday, so I thought why not give it a try. She wants a glow cake. A glow cake is something that glows under black light. She's given me a challenge and it's I'm telling you now going to be an abstract glow cake. I have these Rolcom powders which glow in the dark under black light and I will show you that a bit later when it's a bit darker. We'll see how we go there. Yeah, I'm using three cakes. I did buy four cakes just in case I want it a bit higher. I'm gonna start off with three. I bought buttercream. None of this is sponsored today also. This is ready to use buttercream. It was not cheap but i don't know how to make buttercream i've never made buttercream before and i wasn't going to try it today so basically i'm going to be covering the cake i'm going to be doing a crumb coat which is the coat that you do before you put your proper coat on you do your crumb coat chuck it in the freezer or the fridge for it to harden and then you come back and you ice the cake so you don't have crumbs bits of cake in your final icing um, you will need a cake board for this. Uh, you're going to need one of these little scraping thingamajiggies. That's what I'm calling it. And I'll be using this to get the icing quite straight around the cake. And when I mix these, I'm going to experiment with uh, lemon essence. And I'm also going to experiment with the buttercream. Of course we need happy birthday. I try to get fluoro colors because they glow under black light a lot better than the normal colors. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is what the paints look like under black light. As you can see, we've got blue, yellow, green, and pink. They're pretty cool. I also have a Lazy Susan here. And yes, you can all laugh, it's so funny. Ha ha ha, Lazy Susan, Lazy Suze, ha ha. Oh, oh, funny. It's hilarious. I'm gonna keep the icing on because it just adds filling to the cake. All to the door for me. I'm just gonna try some. Not that my waist needs it, you know. Um, sponge cakes because they are a little crummy. Okay, and this one we're going to be turning upside down so we have a flat surface to work with on top. Another reason why I bought this buttercream was also because it's white. So if you make your own buttercream, it's very hard to get it um, white apparently. And because I hadn't done it before, um, that was another reason for me just to buy it. So this, I think this will be perfect. That is big enough. We're not even feeding that many people, so <laughs> I don't think I should add a fourth layer. I think three is enough. Um, so what I'm going to start doing now is crumbing it with this buttercream. And once it's all smoothed out, I'm gonna be putting it in the freezer. <laughs> it's just a gooey mess. Why? Why am I doing this to myself? I should have just got someone to make this cake. I need to stop eating it. Fun and interesting. I feel like the cake's really falling. Looking a bit wonky, a bit wonky, let's push it back that way. I've popped some skewers in here, I'm going to cut them off. Um, I know they're there, I'll make sure nobody gets a skewer in their piece of cake. Okay, so I have done the crumb coat. It's looking a little worse for wear. You can see the caramel frosting on the outside from the other cake, um, which hopefully will get covered. I'm going to pop this in the freezer now and or for a fridge for about 40 minutes to let it really harden up and then I will come back with the final coat of buttercream um, and fingers crossed it looks half decent. If not, the kids will still eat it. We're going to throw some colours on there. It will be 
great. I'm, I'm staying positive. It'll still glow. I gave her a glow cake. <laughs> That's all that matters. Okay, so while the cake is cooling, I decided to mix some of those powders with the buttercream. And this is what they look like under the UV black light. As you can see, they're pretty pigmented. I only use the tiniest bit of powder as well. And they are non-toxic, so you don't need to worry about them being on the cake. So I've also tried watering this down with lemon extract and it turns it into a paste or a paint. And then I've tried painting it on with brush strokes onto the buttercream and it works. So I think I'm going to be using that method um, and maybe some splatters on the cake. They are amazing. Okie dokie. So it's been in the fridge for about 40 minutes. People on the tutorials make it look so easy and I think that's just because they're cake decorators but I don't really do this. I haven't done this for years so we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. dried completely. I've decided to do brush strokes in different colors all over the paint or all over the cake. Um, it's simple, it's easy and I think it'll look the best. Um, and then after I've done that I'm just going to sprinkle some glitter over the top. So first I'm going to make the green. I'm really not sure how much of this I'm supposed to do so I'm just going to do a capful and make it up as I go along. I'm just getting the clumps out. Here it goes. I'm basically just doing brush strokes like that all around. Okay guys, that's it. I'm gonna film the outro because I have to pick up the kids from school and it will be very loud if I don't do it now. This is the final product. I will be adding more paint to it later on and I will post a photo of that as well. If you'd like to know about any of the products used today, please shoot me a message down below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you for watching.